Hey everybody, it's just Von82. I am back. <clears throat> oh, geez, excuse me, I'm still pretty goddamn sick. So, I had a few interesting disasters. Well, first of all, I decided I wanted to try and um, go explore out the rest of the area so that when I gave you guys this level, you would have a map of the area that was fully explored so you would be able to find your way home. However, I found out at the same time there's a um, another use for the mod I was using tree capitator which will actually make all of the leaves disappear but I had to do a reinstall so I f almost deleted this world which I was thankfully able to save but I deleted the wedge world gener editor er yeah world gen editor and forgot to put it back in so having not discovered quite a number of chunks around here I realized and that music is way too loud because I, like I said, I had to reinstall pretty much everything. No, but um, I realized that some of the chunks hadn't loaded and therefore were no longer loading with the wedge properties. So, yep, I made an error. But th the area around here, because this is actually a lot larger an area than you'd think, is fine. Now... I did something for you guys, and I'm going to turn around and show it to you in a moment, but I did something for you, and I'm not going to tell you what this is. Now, if you, uh, if you open up your eyes, and that's a hint for where you might find information, there's, um, that. So yes, open up your eyes. I'm not going in there, you're not going to find out what it is. But, oh yeah, I shouldn't have gone down. I did do some other things, too. Not anything mild. I took out a lot of trees, because we needed a lot of resources. A lot of resources for what we're going to do next. And what I'm going to do next, over the next few episodes, because it's going to take a long damn time, is where the hell is that now? Is that even loading? Uh, yeah, we're going to go up there. Ah. And fall downstairs. And we're going to go over there. And, uh, we're going to build a lookout post up high on that mountain. And then we're going to work on building one on that mountain. And I'll probably eventually build one over there, but I'm more worried about that one. I leveled it out a bit. Nothing major, just enough, or just took off like ten blocks of dirt. But we're going to start gathering materials. As you can see, I just about used up uh, my pickaxe looking for resources off camera so you would not have to deal with me. And uh, I actually died and could not get my axe back, so I had to get one out of the trunk of goodies I made for you guys. Sorry about that. Now, yeah, I, um, I've been doing a lot of wood collecting. So let's throw... Uh, let me grab, put food where it belongs. I need to throw some chickens in and everything else. I'll keep that. Now, I don't need any of the other garbage I have on me right now, except for the torches. I'll put the map in here, where it'll be nice and safe, and I won't die and have to run back and find it really quickly, which I did twice. I still don't have, I did still, I thought I had something in there. Alright, Fence. We'll need fence, slabs, steps. I'm going to need a lot of wooden steps. So let's see here. First things first. I'm going to need... This place is a bit... Even after the organize, organized nation. Yeah, organized nation. This is still a bit disorganized nated. Yep, I spoke English once. I swear to God. Anyway... So, um, went and saw the Avengers. I think it was absolutely effing magnificent. And if you like superhero movies, you should go see it. If you don't, if you like action movies, you should go see it. If you like movies, you should go see it. Basically, if you hadn't gotten what I'm getting at, I kind of liked it. No, I don't. I need that on me. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Alright. 
So yeah, basically, and I think I can do this from the top. Let me decide where I want... You know what, I actually don't have any offshoots off of this side yet, so... We'll make a really, really awkward rambling path up. But, um... I actually need to have the standard stuff in my inventory, too. Or, you know, ready on hand. But yeah, it, it's a good damn movie. Seriously. Go see it. You probably won't regret it. I'm spoiled. I know I'm spoiled when it comes to stuff like superhero movies because my father was a comic book collector back in the 50s and 60s. But he wasn't one of those Nazi comic book collector type that would, you know, you can't touch them. I will kill my children. He used to let us read his comic books. So I read... All of the original X-Men, all of the original Avengers, I think. You know, the original Captain America, the original Fantastic Four. I had a copy of Spider-Man number one because he had two and one was damaged. And I grew up... I love superheroes. I'm not as huge a fan as my brother, but I love superheroes. They are one of... I can't do that like that. Damn it. They are one of my favorite parts and fondest memories of my childhood. Just, they they were wonderful. And I need to... Alright, let me see here. How am I going to do this? I'll make it one more. And then... Yeah, because I should not... Oh, man, do I have to redo that? Uh, probably, but I'm not going to tell it. But, yeah, so, the Avengers movie, while the characters have changed over the various incarnations, they're still just, they make me happy. I went and saw them with uh, Angelique Damon and my brother. And, you know, some of you might know as uh, Flail Throughs and Company, or you know, he, he does a lot of, he has, he's a man of many hats. And that is an actual saying that has nothing to do with Team Fortress, by the way. That is a very old saying, and I'm pretty sure that's where Team Fortress got the joke from. So, you know, I, I, I loved it, and when that happened, I instantly went out, and I know I shouldn't waste the few sparing dollars I have because I'm trying to save up for something for you guys, but I almost never buy myself anything, so I bought myself, like, the two Marvel movies I had not seen on DVD yet. And, uh, uh which was Iron Man 2 and The Incredible Hulk. So, <clears throat> they were on sale, and actually I got them on Blu-ray and wasted more money than I should, but that's okay, because... I found some more of my childhood to sell off, and I know that sounds horrible, but I'm not even kidding. The worst part is, I found out the piece of uh, my childhood I want to sell off was actually in reasonably good condition, but it would sell for more if I broke it into pieces and sell the pieces. So that's what I'm doing. That sounds weird, horrible, but yeah. I don't mind. I, like I mentioned before, I like doing nice things for people. And since I can't actually meet all of you and, like, hug you and buy you gifts in real life, I like to kind of do, buy games and stuff you'll enjoy me playing. And, you know, I think I'm going to stop and I'm going to go and I'm going to put down some blocks and fence and light because this is getting a little dark. I do. I have this problem of... When I know people in real life, if they... I will give people stuff. I mean, stuff that I don't necessarily, you know... I'm not necessarily not going to use again. Or, you know, might have a use at some point in the future, but I will still give it to them because... I, I'm not sure why. So, you know, this is what I do for you guys. I, I will try and find ways to record new stuff that you will like. And this should be a device that will allow me to uh, actually hook up a damn uh, HDMI device and record off of it. It's, you know, a very high-grade video capture card. 
as opposed to the one I use, which can only do standard RCA input, which, if you look at my Minecraft 360 playthrough, was pretty goddamn awful. But, you know, every now and then, every now and then I do buy something for myself, and it's kind of dumb, but I usually feel bad about it afterwards, because I should spend money on this. At least I feel I should spend money on this. Uh, it's, a, I know I'm never going to be famous at this, I know that, but that doesn't mean that I can't fucking have fun talking to you guys, and I do. I'll admit, sometimes I get a little bit annoyed with having to record every night. Or, you know, every few nights. I actually managed to get a few nights off this week, which was really nice. But, um, you know, I, um, I might get a little bit annoyed, but I still, you know, love the hell out of you guys. I would not give this up, nor give up, you know, talking to you. And as always, feel free to leave fucking comments. I will respond if I can. The only reason I will not respond to you is if, you know, you say something downright ignorant, which I actually think most of you are very smart people, or, you know, I don't think that I have a response. Like, if you can play Stump the Chump with me, good luck. And that's, you know, what they used to call when you would call in uh, to radio stations and request a song and try and find something too obscure for the DJ to play. Yeah, or too unknown, so. Like, um, God, I'm trying to think. Oh, well, I'll give you a good one. Uh, tubas is not, no, not that one. And I'm trying to think of something that you all might enjoy. Ah. Um. Mr. Apollo by the Bonzo Dog Band. You'll never, uh, you've probably never heard of them. They're a band from, like, the 60s and 70s or whatnot, and they're absolutely insane. Every last one of them is insane. I mean, well, not, like, well, probably literary, or literally. But, um, seriously, you, you would probably like the song if you looked it up, so. It's, it's old music, obviously, because, you know, like I said, from the 60s and 70s and stuff. But, it is all, uh, their music is all comedy. Don't expect it to be serious. Most of the guys are still alive, too. They actually toured a few years back. All of them are, like, in their 80s now, and they're still touring and shit. It, it was amazing. Ah, uh, uh, the Bonzo Dog. And, uh, though I hate the band, and that, hell, maybe most of you haven't heard of it because they're, like, years old now. But, um, the band Death Cab for Cutie actually got their name from a Bonzo Dog Band song called Death Cab for Cutie. And I, I'm sorry, I hate that band. Um, the only reason I ever gave it a try, I gave it a listen, and I know it's really, really stupid sounding. A really cute girl told me I should give them a listen, and I suddenly did not think she was cute anymore. I take my music very seriously. I used to know a whole lot about music theory. I don't anymore, but I still have that inflated sense of ego. So, you know, that's how it works. <sighs> Actually, no. Anyone anyone who knows me will tell you I have no fucking ego at all. I don't. I, I don't... I'm not a bright person. I'm not, you know, a good-looking guy. I know that. That's because I have mirrors and have seen. But, you know, for some reason my girlfriend thinks I am, and sure, why not? I'll date a delusional girl. Because I'm living in a delusional world, and she is a delusional girl. No one's going to get that. Actually, no, they might, because Madonna, I guess, is still popular for some unknown reason. She was famous in the 90s and, like, late 80s for being a hoe, and somehow she still thinks that that's a reason to be famous. That's, I mean, I, I don't get it. But, whatever. Music is... I don't know. Music is like Soylent Green. It varies from person to person. That's a Futurama reference that I just blatantly stole. And I should only mark these on one side. That way I can make sure I've got enough torches. But, um... Yeah, but, uh, I never got Madonna. I never thought she was particularly talented. I'm sure a lot of people did. And that's good. I am putting torches everywhere, even though I said I shouldn't. Uh, if you like music, good for you. But, yeah. 
I don't even know what the fuck I was talking about originally. But anyway, yeah. So back to that. Yeah, I bought the movies. I feel kind of bad and stupid about it because uh, it's a uh, really... The device is actually very expensive. <laughs> and I was m at least like a third of the way there. Uh, really expensive for me because, yeah. As I mentioned before, uh, you know, I do... I don't know. I don't know. I like potatoes. That's what I meant to mention. I like potatoes. But, anyway. That's my plan, because I'd like to be able to record a bunch of stuff. Like, you know, I, I can't afford any new games. I, I can't, really. But, um, I'd love to be able to get a hold of some, that way I could record them. I could at least do games that are several months old, as opposed to several years old. Because, as we all know, Minecraft just turned three. Not that I plan on stop do, uh, stopping the Minecrafts anytime soon. Let me just make that clear. I actually... I have been playing this game for a long damn time. I mean, not the whole three years, because I didn't have the money to get a Minecraft account. But, um... Yeah. Uh, I, it's still fun. Three fucking years later, it is still fun. This is some sort of wizardry. Which was a very good series of video games that started out, I believe, on the NES. If you like old style Dungeons and Dragons, which most of you probably don't because none of you are quite as big a dork as me. That's okay. I love you anyway. Oh, the hell am I even talking about? Oh, also, nearing, uh, nearing 70 subs. Woohoo! I mean, I'm actually a little excited about that, because for a while there, I was actually in a bit of a rut. I was, or it seemed like I was in a bit of a rut when it came to subs, because a lot of people weren't joining, and I actually lost a few subs and went from, like, 64 down to 60. When we hit oh, 100 subs, I'm going to have to do some sort of major, major thing. But eh, I expect that to be quite a long way away, honestly. So, we'll, we'll figure it out then. It will be big. It will be something very big for you guys. I don't know what yet. If I can get the money together, maybe some sort of giveaway. But I, I, I'm not sure about that, because that would require me to have money. And yeah, I, I someone, someone actually kind of got a little bit annoyed at me. Uh, uh, apparently. He was like, you monetize. Why don't you spend some of the money you make from your videos and do something new? I, um, I have not seen cent one on these videos. Not a damn thing. I haven't seen a penny. I have not seen a penny, and it, the rate of things are going... I probably never will. And that's okay. I mean, I'm going to keep it up in the strange hope that someday things might change in that department. But... I'm probably not going to ever see that, so... Sorry. I mean, the, I don't... I'm only mentioning this because they were an asshole about it. And normally, I'll explain. I'll explain to people. You know, why, you know... Cause, cause yeah, the ads before videos are annoying as hell. I know they are. I'm sorry. But, you know, I, I don't do the full annoying ads because, or I don't believe I do, I don't know what the hell YouTube does, I don't watch my own videos, that's like crazy egomani e egomaniac stuff there, but um, no, I just, I don't make anything off of this, I have yet to make a dime off of it, I do this because I like you guys, and I want talk and interact. Now, if I could make some money to help support my family, you, well, my first promise, and a promise I made ages ago when I started doing this, was that if I ever make, an, or, you know, enough money, uh, or I should say, if I start regularly making enough money that I can upgrade to the best internet service we can get around here, I'll put up videos every day of crap you guys want to see. Like special my you know like I'll do like 
three different thing, three different series a day. Probably Minecraft, yeah, you know, uh, and make them all at least half an hour long. But that's that's being really optimistic about the future. And nah, I don't know. Same time, if I could find a real job, I would take that. Because I do need money. I mean, it's not, yeah. Something that's too urgent at the moment. It might become urgent in, like, the near future, but, you know, it's hard to find jobs. Thankfully, uh, my girlfriend recently got a job. It gives her a nice small amount of spending cash. And, yeah, we're going all the way up there. If you see that, I leveled that out up there. So, we're, we've got a fucking long way to go. And that's why I'm gonna... This is going to be a long, long one, two, three, alright. But, um, you know, I'm not too worried about that. Some, something always has been nice enough to come along for me. I mean, we're not gonna starve. We're not gonna, well, if, uh, honestly, we have, or I for one, have way too many fat stores in reserve to ever starve, so I'm not worried about that. It's impossible for me to starve. Uh, I'm actually, I'm pretty sure that people could cut pieces off of me, and I did that wrong. Cut pieces off of me and survive for weeks on my blubber, like, you know, some sort of whale. That's pretty much what I am, some sort of whale. A land whale. That's a website. Um, if it's still around, and I don't know if it is anymore. And keep in mind, I, I'm not the creator of this website, but fatchicksandpartyhats.com. You should probably check it out. Um, I'm not saying it's a kind, or it's definitely not a kind website. I will not lie to you about that, but as a fat person, I find it hilarious because it's not just fat chicks they're making fun of. Don't get me wrong, it's anyone heavy. It is hilarious because the person who did it has absolutely no real firm grasp of the English language. And it's, it just makes you giggle. That's the only thing I can say. Alright, I need to actually put shit down on one side or another. How about don't fall from here? That would suck. This is a long way down. Maybe I should start putting down steps too. Alright, let's put them down on the one side for now. I've got plenty of wood at least. Damn it! That's the wrong type of plenty of wood. Well, I do have plenty of that as well. Mm. But... Anyway. Now, if I can... If I can get 100 subs... I will do some... Some sort of special. With you guys, or for you guys, or something. Maybe even... Uh, well, I wouldn't be able to do that, actually, because it would kill my bandwidth. But if I had infinite bandwidth, I would open up my... like. My, like, open up a uh, small Minecraft server that we could all... Or just leave it open for a day. That way we could all just fuck around. But I don't have that type of uh, cash, unfortunately. But, and you know, I've actually seen offers around of, you know... You can rent a Minecraft server, one gigabyte of RAM... Like, I have rent, I have a computer with, you know, a, a garbage computer sitting next to me with two gigabytes of RAM, and it can barely run a Minecraft server. Don't give me that super cheap bullshit. There's a reason it is super cheap, and that's because that is, the only thing I can assume is these people are running, like, junky servers out of the back of their house. I mean... 
Unless you can pay more to get more RAM, which I never looked into, then, uh, that, that's different. Alright, I think... Oh, man, I'm out of fence. I have plenty of wood to make more fence, don't I? Yeah, I'll just... There. Uh, yeah, see? <laughs> that's the bad part of the reinstall. Right, so, eh. Eh. Let's see. Eh. So, anyway. Yeah, I'm gonna, this is going to take so long, I'm not going to do it all uh, in one episode, because I, I can't. Let me get back down there, and... Alright. But we will... And I'm not going to do any of this work between episodes, because I've, uh... Wasted it. Or I've done enough stuff between episodes. I mean... I, uh, the, the big thing I did, you know, this thing, that's a gift for you guys. It's nothing special, I just think it's kind of neat inside. And, um, you know, it's, it's nothing, like, earth-shattering, and oh lord, I almost fell. You know, nothing earth-shattering there, it's just something I built for you guys. And I'll do, like, secret stuff I'm building for you guys between sessions, because, you know, I'm going to give you the map when I'm done. I'm going to try and always do that from now on. So, you'll, uh, you'll hopefully enjoy it. Like I said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the wizard with construction. But, I will always do what I can, because, like I said, I like giving you guys things, because... You're cool. And I do actually, as weird as it sounds, view people that I have uh, never really spoken to in person. Well, aside from one or two of you I've spoken to, like, online. You know, uh, I view people that I have never met in person, we'll just say, as friends. That's kind of sad, but, you know, it's I actually have real friends, so it's more of a I like you guys that much thing. Not a I'm so pathetic um, I can't say that, because I was that kid. I was the kid with no friends for a long time. Because, I don't know, I was not a smart kid. I was a smart teenager, and I had, like, one friend who was my best friend in the world, and then another friend who had this hugely homoerotic crush on that friend, and tried to keep him away from me at all points in time. And I'm not even kidding. It was just, uh, he... And he didn't even know that it was a horribly homoerotic crush, either. You know, he's my friend, not your friend. Like, I've known him for nine years. You have known him for three. He is more my friend than yours. Stop it. But, after a while, all, all those friends moved away because that's what, you know, people do when they're adults. And I just kind of faded out of uh, that particular group of friends, which is good. That particular hangout group, because they all became drug addicts. And I mean, not just like the occasional sit around stone and listening to Pink Floyd type of drug addicts. Who I've had a lot of friends like that, and I can deal with them just fine. I mean, like, hold this meth while I outrun this cop, please, drug addicts. And no, no, I will not. So, you know... I, I lost contact with them as quickly as I could. Uh, oh well. But, amazingly, those people actually all got their shit together. I mean, that, that, that's what startled me. They all got their shit together, and I think a couple of them went to fucking college and became like lawyers. And I have no idea how the shit that happened. Alright, well, I'm gonna head down and start putting on stairs. It's about time to call it. Good lord, this is a long way down. Do, 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 do. Alright, let's head down to the bottom. I'll put on the stairs up to a certain point. I haven't decided what point yet. Good lord. This is going to be a hell of a long way up. But, um... Eh, 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 eh. That's wrong. God damn it. God damn it, James. What are you doing? Good enough. 
Mm -hmm. Ah, damn it, that needs to melt. Oh well. By the time I have enough light on here, it'll actually melt it. Now this is dangerous because there's only steps on one side, but Ah, oh, good god. This is a little recoculus. That's right, recoculus. Can't even remember where that originated. I know it was in the nineties. Mid nineties. It might have been might have been Jim Carrey. Who knows? I'll have to look that up. I'm sure it will be somewhere on the internet. Alright. This is the ideal place to call it. I will wait to do anything till we come back. This is going to be a long damn staircase. And, yeah. You know what, actually I might fence in this side and resupply. No, no, I'll just, I'll just resupply and then come back. So... Till next time, guys. Peace out.